So the challenge we're seeing in education is you're having an immune response, not just from one stakeholder. Uh, you're having an immune response coming from multiple uh, places. So there's the institutional immune response. They've had a model that's been, they think has been working for them. You often have an immune response from the parents who have certain expectations uh, and traditional mindsets. You have an immune response from students sometimes. Uh, once they're old enough, they're resistant to change as well. And you have an immune response from a government level or a policy level as they regulate a lot of, it's a very heavily regulated industry. So the open question here is how do you tackle all of these different immune responses that are coming at any disruptive innovation in the education space? So in order to reinvent education or any other industry, you have to start from the outside, on the edge, right? So that's the way to do it. In parallel, I think it's good to have core and edge in parallel. But another thought that I was having about education is like, well, we were talking about before about the Maslow pyramid, right? And, and as basic uh, needs are met, are met in the in the world in general, right? I think that education now is very, very focused on how you get a job in the future, right? How you get a job. So we are training people to, to, to to basically work in the future. But in the future, we might even have AI doing the work for us, right? Or we for the AI, we don't know yet, right? But what I think is that our education is very job focused now, and I think that in the future will be more like purpose focused, because at the end of the day, since we are going up and up and up into the Maslow pyramid, I think that we don't have to train our children in order to look for a job, but to find their purpose and, and achieve it, right? So that's, that's my personal view.